This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. All right. Well, the BET Hip Hop Awards were on last night. As you know, 85 South Show hosted again. Mm -hmm. Young Legends. Yes. And it all opened up with DC Young Fly doing his Soldier Boy You. Cut the music. What? What happened? DC, what are you doing? What you mean? Chico came out here spitting his classic Pimp C verse. And, and, and what is what is this? Yeah, why are you dressed like you signed to the gas station? Let me tell you something. Just because I ain't old as y'all civil right activists, okay? I know what I'm doing. Bruh, this is supposed to be a tribute to the old school. And you, not for the head like Soldier Boy, ain't no class. <laughs> He's a classic. Matter of fact, y'all move out of the way. Move out of the way. Right, Let me show y'all something. let you do what you do. Uh, dancers! You he got dancers? He got dancers? DC Young Fly can sing, DC Young Fly can dance, DC Young Fly can do it all. Drop on the clues bonds for the 85 South Show. Man, they killed it yesterday. They <laughs> killed it. He started doing the Soldier Boy dances. They killed it, man. All the skits were funny. Congratulations to those and, brothers. And if you want more of the 85 South Show, make sure to check out their uh, YouTube channel, the 85 South Show, and make, make sure to check out the 85 South Show podcast on the Black Effect iHeartRadio podcast network. We're actually celebrating our one-year anniversary tomorrow with a uh, live podcast in Atlanta. Uh, with the 85 South Show Horrible Decisions and hosted by Flame and Raw. All right, now there were also the ciphers, and that's something that we all pay attention to. So let's uh, look at some of them right now. Lakeith. She was snapping, but I don't understand why everybody was rapping over the damn Cali beat. Yeah. Like that's that was so redundant. But they usually pick one beat, and I don't remember that. Yeah, Primo usually produced the beat that they usually picked. That's why Primo usually was DJ. And so shout out to DJ Head, he was DJ, and I guess that's the record that they got cleared, and everybody I mean, has to rap over that beat. I guess I never noticed because you know the Primo beat is an original beat. Correct. I, I, that beat's so familiar. I was just like, why is everybody rapping over this beat? All right. Also, Kid. Kid He hey. snapped. Kid Kim. He's from Chicago, by the way. He's the first openly gay rapper to participate in the cypher. He snapped. He told Paper, when my community sees me in the cypher, they're going to gag. They're going to be so excited because I know they've been waiting for me to literally do what I have to do for my community. And that's what I came to do to represent and do the best I can do. I really feel like I was born for this. No pressure at all. Also, people really enjoyed Tusi. Yeah. Salute to like uh, Tusi, okay, South Coast Tusi. Music Group. Arnold, Arnold Taylor, what's happening? And Tyler, the creator, he got the first ever BET Cultural Influence Award from LL Cool J. Playboy Cardi has a line, bought my mom a house off this mumbling <laughs> And I always get, like, teared up when he says that, because, like, this thing that's a hobby or a pastime or a passion for us, a lot of people in here, that <laughs> kept us out of trouble. And it allowed us to change our family lives, our friends' lives, our lives. And I, d I definitely think that I've created my own path, but it's people who allowed me to understand that I can do that, who laid the blueprint. He had a big night last night, and Nelly got the I Am Hip Hop Icon Award and performed. If some of y'all from the Heartland, or if you're from Missouri or any part like that, you know, we don't get a lot of this. We don't get a lot of chances to stand on stage and say, yeah, it's our turn. So um, this just ain't for me. This is for my whole area. 
it's a little different when you're trying to rep for you and your crew and when you're trying to rep for a whole state. And just to be clear, I never had a cosign. Nobody stood on stage and put their arm around me. Nobody uh, gave me a feature. Nobody put a chain around my neck. I got thrown in the deep end and was told to swim. Dropping the clues bonds for Nelly. Nelly. Dropping the clues bonds for Tyler, the creator. Now, Tyler, the creator, everybody was laying, uh, asking what was in his bag. He had a sweater and a blanket. He said sometimes it gets cold at the BET Awards, so that's what he had in his bag. And Tyler also got Hip Hop Album of the Year. Mm -hmm. No the snacks? You're going to bring the blanket. Nah, no you got to bring snacks, that's, And then he said he was most excited. He said he wanted to see if uh, LL Cool J really licked his lips all the time, so he was looking forward to seeing if he did that when he gave him that award. Dope. All right, next up, we got front page news. That's and right. we'll talk about the Facebook whistleblower. All right, we'll get into that next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning.